Welcome to Spending Power, where we're helping you find the coolest and trendiest minority-owned businesses so you can spend your money where your heart is. I know for a lot of my friends, being a curly-haired girl can definitely have its ups and downs. You can never find the right products you need in the store, and Magdalene had the same issue, so she decided to do something about it, and she created Hello Updo. I just want to ask, how this brand came about. I know that you're really all about inclusivity. Just tell us about how the brand started. I was out in Dominican Republic and I was really hot and I had to get my hair up and my, my scrunchies and my hair ties kept snapping on me. And I was like, why is it that we don't have products that accommodate textured hair? I was like, scrunchies shouldn't be one size fits all. I told my family, I was like, you know what? I'm going to create it. So I created it for myself. And once I loved it, I was like, I think the world needs it and decided to make a business out of it and bring it, you know, bring it forward in order to protect everyone's hair type. I love that. I know that you're all about hair shouldn't be a certain standard. And just like you said, we should be able to go to the store and whether you have short hair, long hair, curly hair, coily hair, you make a product for everybody. Right, that is exactly what my goal is. I wanna be able to accommodate all hair textures through our silk scrunchies. They come in two different sizes, the biggish and the smallish. So the biggish is for my textured hair, right? Um, a smallish wouldn't really fit, but I wanted to make sure, because there are other curly headed people who a smallish would fit, right? They, they have thinner hair, yet they still have big curls. So I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, working across the board. So silk is actually the best fabric out there for hair and skin. Mm -hmm. um, so silk helps prevent friction on your hair, meaning less breakage, less pulling. I've read that you are a huge supporter of the Crown Act. Just tell us a little bit about what the Crown Act is and why it's important to you. So the Crown Act um, was or is a law that was passed, first passed in California. And it is a, a law that protects um, people with textured hair, I would say mostly women of color, especially black women um, with textured hair from being discriminated in the workplace or in schools. I don't believe that I should be going into a corporate office and be disrespected or be fired or looked down upon because I have textured hair, right? It's also textured hairstyles, so like braids, twists, locks. Anything across the board, there is, are still many injustices happening within these places um, that, you know, we, we have to make sure that we're changing those conversations. So what is the manufacturing process like for these? Do you make the scrunchies yourself? What is it like to make Hello Up Do? So our Hello Up Do scrunchies are actually made by hand in-house. They're made by me, my mom, and an in-house seamstress. I actually also buy the silk from family-owned stores. They come in this really cute packaging. Just tell us a little bit about why you wanted to make a packaging like this. Our packaging, I wanted to make sure that Hello Up Do is sustainable. We want to reduce human imprint. Um, so I do not like using plastic. I want to make sure we minimize it as much as we can. So, you know, reuse or reduce. That's yes. what we're here for. So you're saving hair and you're saving the earth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Magdalene. These are amazing. And I'm so glad you got to join us today. Thank you so much for having me, it was an honor. It is super inspiring to think that if there's nothing out there for you, create it yourself. Guys, grab some of these scrunchies because you are going to love them. And I'll see you guys next time on Spending Power. Bye.